Dan. And I'm Rob, and welcome back to Electrum Charging Solutions Tech Zone. In this episode, we're going to talk about a question that we get asked all the time, and that is how and if you can communicate with a, an electric vehicle charging station. Some people want to know, how can I, can I watch what's going on? How much energy is being consumed? Can I charge money? Like, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about the technology for the communication piece with these charging stations. Absolutely. Uh, today the manufacturers are utilizing a couple of different uh, protocols for um, wireless connectivity between the charger and the network. Uh, the first one, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Wi-Fi. We have tablets, um, cell phones, I mean Netflix. Everybody's using a local area network in their home today, or I think most people are. Um, so you're saying that a charging station actually functions at some level, just like a laptop or a tablet? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Wi-Fi is another, or sorry, Zigbee is another technology. Mm -hmm. It's a radio frequency based uh, protocol that communicates in a different way than Wi-Fi and we'll get into that a little bit later on. And then of course we have the cellular piece and depending on whose charging station you're using, it could be Wi-Fi cellular, it could be Zigbee cellular, or it could be just a cellular uh, mm -hmm. communication form. So, you know, lots to talk about and then of course the last one. Is Cabling. There, is yeah. there better than a piece of wire between yeah. Yeah. two devices? No. So good, yeah, there's good and bad. There yes. is good and bad. Yeah, and we'll 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 get into that and talk a little bit about how each of them mm. work and pros and cons. Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. All right, Professor Proton, what do you got for us? A lot of really cool stuff. Um, as promised, we're going to move through the different communication protocols we have here in front of us. Not a lot of equipment, but it does some pretty uh, amazing stuff. What are you going to start with? Start with the Wi-Fi. I'm um, okay. sure everybody's familiar with Wi-Fi. Um, everybody uses it in their home. I think most everybody does local area network for your computer and so on. This is a typical router that you, that you would go and purchase at Best Buy or London Drugs or Shoppers Drug Mart. About a $49 price point. This one's kind of cool. It has no antennas on it. It's very sleek and contemporary looking. You have your Ethernet ports in the back, power supply. Uh, advantages to Wi-Fi, extremely cost effective. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah it continues to evolve and it's not going to go anywhere. So this will communicate with the charging station just like this would communicate with a laptop. Absolutely. Um, so they have obviously the charging stations, those that come equipped have the Wi-Fi transceiver. Receiver uh, transceiver, yeah, that, that communicates with yep. us. Like I said, cost effective, $49, $50 price point. Things to consider when using Wi-Fi, chargers must be able, all chargers must be able to see this uh, visually line of sight, a maximum of about 130 to 140 feet. Um, if you're going to get into higher charger counts, have to be cognizant of the capacity or bandwidth of the, uh, of the router, so something to consider when installing. Mm -hmm. Now if we compare this to our uh, gateway or hub, which utilizes Zigbee now to communicate with the chargers, that information is, um, is through the Zigbee antenna is communicated to this gateway, and then this is a cell side which communicates that information out to the so cellular network. Two technologies in one here. You got her. You also have the ability to be able to use Wi Fi and Zigbee through this gateway, but again, as you add more technology, the price will go up and you're in the you know, $300 to $1,500 range. You have an Ethernet connection here, a port. Uh, again, our power supply is required. There is a SIM card that goes in this guy. Um, What's the difference between the way this talks to chargers and, and Wi-Fi? This is what we call a mesh network. So chargers have the ability to communicate with each other and then relay that information to this gateway and then out to the network. So when you're scaling up, um, it uh, works pretty good. So, I mean, in terms of... And physically it might be easier given certain applications yeah. and installations to use this Absolutely. as opposed to Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the last one, of course, uh, is there anything better than a piece of wire between two devices? Not much. Um, you know, lots of advantages to using this, this type of, uh, of communication protocol, uh, but things to consider when you're getting into a larger scale deployment of chargers, uh, it's important to realize that you must run one of these to every charger, so you're in essence kind of doubling up on the infrastructure feeding so, the charger. So if you're running conduit, 
and lots of it, and many, uh, uh, I guess depending on the thickness of it too, that adds to cost. Well, yeah, I mean, you're running the electrical, the, the wire in the pipe, uh, the mm -hmm. electrical side, and because you can't put this in the same pipe, you have to run separate low voltage pipe to each of those chargers, so it can be a little bit cost prohibitive, something to consider uh, when you're, when you're you know, deploying or adopting charging infrastructure. Again, your provider, uh, it's, it's best to work with a provider that understands all this technology and more importantly understands what you uh, mm -hmm. as a station owner requires for, uh, for your charging needs. And uh, lastly, this is by no means a deep dive into these technologies and we're not suggesting that any of these communication protocols are better than the other. Um, we feel that all of them are excellent in terms of what they do. It, it's really dictated by the station owner's requirements, yeah. the environment we're installing uh, each, into. Each installation is customized. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you, just, you just need to understand you know, how, yep. how this stuff works and, and how it works best in each of the environments. Yeah, lots of great information. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks for checking out this segment. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you're not gonna find this information anywhere else.